Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In the last video, we saw how to set outputs in a step and use those outputs in the subsequent steps. In this video, let's see how to set outputs for a job and access these outputs in the subsequent jobs. Let's create a workflow in this repository that we were using since the beginning and I'll call this uh, workflow as job output dot yml let's name name of this workflow is job output and i want to trigger this whenever we push some code to the main branch then we have jobs inside this let's have job one every job has a runner so runs on Ubuntu hyphen latest. Then we have steps. Let me create a step called set output. We have already seen this in our last video, but I'll quickly create it again. So run echo and I'll have a variable called name with value interview pro. This is set as a GitHub output. So if you remember, GitHub output is an environment variable used to set outputs. And in order to identify the step that has the particular variable, we have to use ID. So set hyphen output. This is a user defined ID. And if you want to access the value of the output, then we have a step called access output and here I'll have echo a value of name is dollar steps dot set hyphen output dot outputs dot name so we have okay this has to be run so we have steps inside steps we have a particular step with id set hyphen output this might have multiple outputs so we use outputs object then we want to access this specific output called name now this is fine this is to set outputs in the step and to access the output in the subsequent step but I want to access these outputs in the next job. Let's say I have another job called job two. And this runs on Ubuntu latest again. Then we, want, then we have uh, steps and we have, let's say we have this uh, step in now here. Uh, we cannot access output of the step in job one because the steps are only to this job one every job has its own set of steps so this output will not be accessible in job two based on steps because when we say steps dot set output it will try to search for this set output step inside job two here we don't have any step with the id set output so to set outputs for job one, we use a keyword called outputs. Inside outputs, we can specify the name of the output variable that we want to output from job one, followed by the value. So I can simply say name followed by any hard coded value. Let's say test. Or if you want to output uh, the value from steps, then we can use the same uh, uh, notation that we use to access step outputs so this need not be similar to the name so it can be anything let's say uh, job one underscore name so we can have multiple outputs but I'll have only one output in this case so here now we have output uh, first of all let's see how this looks like so I'll uh, commit changes if we go to actions we have create job output so we have two jobs inside job one we'll have steps to set the output so access uh, output okay we forgot to put uh, uh, double quotes at the end so let's go back and make this change job output dot yml 
edit so here we should uh, put a double quote so I copied the same code here so we have the same uh, error let's commit under actions update job dot okay this is from step output let's disable this go to step output and click on disable workflow we have already seen this in our previous videos now let's go to job output so this is our latest uh, output updated job job one we have set output where we set our name output we have access output then we have complete job in complete job we can see what are the outputs set by this job one so we have one output job one underscore name now let's try to access this job one underscore name output in job two let's go to the workflow job hyphen output To access the first of all let's uh, remove this because this won't be accessible it would have printed an empty string uh, let's go to actions and check it again so in job output in job 2 access output we don't see any value here because steps dot set output uh, dot outputs dot name is available only in job 1 in job 2 we don't have any step with this id so let's remove this for now to access the output of job 1 we have to create a dependency so needs colon job 1 because only when job 1 is completed these outputs will be accessible so if any other job is making use of the outputs of job 1 it has to wait for job 1 to complete so we have to create a dependency I have added needs colon job 1 in job 2 now to access the outputs of job 1 we can use dollar expression inside this needs dot job one so we can have multiple jobs here so we want to specify which job output we want to access so first we'll go to needs and in needs we have job one inside job one we have outputs so we have outputs here and inside outputs we have job one underscore name so outputs dot job one underscore name value of output name from job one is let's commit the changes inside actions now we have a dependency created job one is running job one is successfully completed we have job two if we open access output and see the log we have value of output name from job one is interview pro so this is how you can create outputs for a job and access those outputs inside another job using dependencies i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you